These are the 20 best 3D printers of 2024 and we're gonna rank each of them from god tier to trash tier. Links to all of the 3D printers mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Number 1. Bamboo Lab P1P The speed and print quality are mind-blowing. I'm talking about churning out a Benchy in under 15 minutes with incredible accuracy. It's super easy to set up too, taking just 15 minutes out of the box. I love how customizable it is with the mod plate designs and AMS upgrade options. The Core XY design really sets it apart, allowing for those insane print speeds. Sure, the side panels are an extra purchase, but for the price, this thing is unbeatable. I'm putting this bad boy in god tier without hesitation. It's revolutionizing the 3D printing game. Number 2. Creality Ender 5S1 This printer is a solid workhorse that won't break the bank. I'm impressed by its 30 cube frame and the upgraded sprite extruder that can handle a wide range of materials. The auto-leveling feature is a nice touch, though it's not perfect. It's pretty fast for its price range and surprisingly quiet too. The large touchscreen is a welcome upgrade from previous models. It's a great choice for hobbyists and beginners who want reliability without spending a fortune. While it's not the fastest or most advanced printer out there, it's a dependable machine that gets the job done. I'm placing this in good tier. It's a solid performer that offers great value for money. Number 3. Snapmaker J1 This printer is a pleasant surprise from a company known for their 3-in-1 machines. The fully enclosed design gives it a sleek professional look that I really dig. The IDEX system is a standout feature, allowing for some seriously efficient dual material printing. I love how user-friendly it is, from the setup to the wireless connectivity. The print quality is top-notch and it handles a variety of materials like a champ. It's not the fastest printer on the market, but the reliability and ease of use more than make up for it. This is a great choice for enthusiasts looking to step up their game. I'm putting this in the great tier. It's a premium machine that delivers excellent results. Number 4. Original Prusa MK4 This printer is an absolute beast when it comes to print quality and reliability. The new and extruder system is a game changer, especially for tricky materials like TPU. I love how they refined every aspect of the printer while keeping the iconic Prusa look. The easy nozzle swapping is a fantastic feature for versatility. It's not the fastest printer out there, but the consistency and quality are hard to beat. The only real downside is the price, but you're getting what you pay for here. This is the perfect choice for serious hobbyists and professionals who demand top tier results. I'm slotting this into god tier alongside the Bamboo Lab P1P. It's a different approach but equally impressive in its own right. Number 5. Bamboo Lab A1 Combo This printer is seriously impressive folks. It's got that sweet multi-filament capability with the AMS lead system, letting you print it up to 4 colors. And man is it fast, we're talking 500mm per second print speeds. The build quality is top notch too. My only gripe is the software can be a bit complex for newbies. Overall though, this is an awesome choice for hobbyists looking to step up their game. I'm putting this bad boy in great tier. It's not quite godly, but it's darn close. Number 6. Anycubic Photon Mono M5S This Risen printer is rocking a 12K Mono LCD screen with 19 micron precision. That's some insanely crisp detail, people. It's also pretty speedy for a Risen printer. The auto-leveling feature is clutch too. No more messing with that finicky bed alignment. It's not the biggest build volume out there, but for miniature enthusiasts, this thing is a dream. I'm slotting this into the great tier. As well, it's a stellar machine for the right user. Number 7. Elego Saturn 4 Ultra Alright, now we're talking endgame territory. This beast has it all. 12K resolution, a big 10.1 inch screen, auto leveling, a tilting vat for faster prints, and even a built-in camera. The print quality is out of this world, and it's surprisingly user-friendly for such a high-end machine. Sure, it's pricier than some others, but hot damn is it worth it. I'm gonna put this in the god tier. It's revolutionizing what we can expect from consumer reason printers. Number 8. Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo This printer is bringing some serious heat to the FDM game. We've got multicolor printing capabilities, blazing fast 600mm S speeds, and a bunch of smart features like auto bed leveling and filament runout detection. The Ace Pro add-on for multiple filaments is awesome. It's a bit bulky with that extra unit, but the print quality and versatility more than make up for it. For me, this is another solid great tier printer. It's perfect for those wanting to dive into multicolor FDM printing. Number 9. Frozen Sonic Mighty 8K It's got an 8K resolution screen that churns out insanely detailed prints. We're talking 28 microns of detail here. The build volume is pretty generous too, at 218 to 123 millimeters. I love how easy it is to remove prints from the laser etched build plate. The Wi-Fi connectivity and built-in camera are nice touches, though the camera isn't functional yet. 
My only gripes are the 4-bolt leveling platform and the price tag, which is a bit steep. Overall though, this is a fantastic option for anyone serious about resin printing. I'm putting this bad boy in the gray tier. It's not quite perfect, but it's darn close. Number 10, Anycubic Cobra 2 Max. It's got a massive 420 to 420 to 500 millimeter build volume, which is great for cosplay props and large prints. The metal PEI flex blade is a nice upgrade from the previous model. But here's the thing, Anycubic claims it can print at 500 millimeter per second, which is just not true. It tops out around 150 to 230 millimeter per second, which is still pretty fast, but come on, don't oversell it. The bed leveling issues and lack of fast profiles in their slicer are also disappointing. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing either. I'm sticking this one in the average tier. It's got potential, but it needs some work. Number 11, Formlabs Form 3 Plus. It's insanely expensive at over $3,500, but hear me out. The print quality is absolutely phenomenal and it's incredibly reliable. The software is top-notch and the whole ecosystem is designed for professional use. It handles a wide variety of materials like a champ. The downside, it's slow, like really slow. And the proprietary resin is pricey. But if you're using this in a professional setting where quality and reliability are paramount, it's worth every penny. This is a no brainer for me. It's going straight into the God tier. It's not for everyone, but for those who need it, it's unbeatable. Number 12, Ultimaker S5. Now this is a printer that means business. It's got a massive build volume, dual extrusion capabilities, and it's built like a tank. The software is fantastic and it can handle a wide variety of materials with ease. I love the swappable print cores, they make switching between different materials a breeze. The print quality is top notch and it's incredibly reliable. Yes, it's expensive as heck, but for professional use it's worth every penny. The only real downside is that it can be a bit slow with complex prints, but overall this is an absolute powerhouse. I'm putting this in the god tier without hesitation. It's a professional great machine that delivers on all fronts. Number 13, MakerBot Replicator Plus. This printer is a beast when it comes to build volume and speed. I love how it's 30% faster than its predecessor and has a 25% larger build area. The PLA filament it uses is on the pricey side though, which might be a turnoff for some. It's really aimed at professionals and businesses rather than hobbyists. I'm putting this in the gray tier because while it's impressive, the high price point and limited material options keep it from reaching god tier status. Number 14, Elego Saturn 3MS LA. The 12K resolution screen produces incredibly detailed prints with minimal effort. It's super fast and reliable too. The only real downside is it lacks the self-leveling feature of some competitors. For raising printing enthusiasts looking for top-notch quality, this is a fantastic choice. I'm confidently placing this in gray tier. It's nearly perfect, but that missing auto leveling keeps it just shy of god tier. Number 15, Anchor Make M5C. This printer really impressed me with its ease of use and consistently great prints. The software is excellent and is surprisingly fast for the price point. My only gripe is that the default settings don't cool print fast enough, which can affect quality at higher speeds. It's a great option for beginners or those wanting a reliable user-friendly printer. I'm putting this solidly in great tier. It's an excellent value but has a few minor issues holding it back from perfection. Number 16, Anycubic Cobra 2. This printer is all about speed and on a budget. It can hit up to 250 mm per second, which is pretty impressive for the price. The new cooling system and metal rails are nice upgrades too. However, it lacks input shaping, which can affect print quality at those high speeds. It's a good choice for those wanting to dip their toes into fast printing without breaking the bank. I'm placing this in good tier. It's a solid performer with some cool features, but it's not quite up there with the top tier printers. Number 17, Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. This little powerhouse is seriously impressive. It comes pre-assembled and calibrated, making it super beginner friendly. The auto calibration and active flow rate compensation are game changers for print quality. I love how fast it can print while maintaining accuracy. The only downside is the smaller build volume compared to some others. For newbies or those wanting hassle-free high quality prints, this is a fantastic choice. I'm putting this in the good tier. It's not quite god tier, but it's definitely punching above its weight class. Number 18, Lulzbot Mini 2. Now this is a workhorse. The all metal construction feels really solid and I appreciate the heated bed for printing with different materials. The auto leveling feature is a nice touch, though not as advanced as some newer models. It's a bit on the noisy side, which might be annoying if you're printing in a living space. Overall, it's a reliable printer for hobbyists and small businesses, but the price point is a bit high for what you get. I'm placing this one in the good tier too. 
It's dependable but not breaking any new ground. Number 19. Toy Box 3D Printer. It's super easy to use with its one-touch printing and companion app, which is great for getting kids excited about 3D printing. The small build volume is a bummer, though limiting what you can make. Print quality is decent but not amazing. The food safe filament is a cool feature for making candy molds. It's a fun introduction to 3D printing for kids, but serious hobbyists will outgrow it quickly. I'm putting this in the average tier. It's good at what it does, but it's pretty limited. And number 20, Elego Neptune 3 Pro. This printer offers some nice features at a budget friendly price point. The dual Z axis and direct drive extruder are great for the price range. I like the flexible magnetic build plate, it makes removing prints a breeze. However, the print quality can be hit or miss, and you might need to tinker a bit to get consistent results. It's a good option for budget conscious beginners who don't mind a bit of a learning curve. I'm placing this in the average tier. It's got potential, but there are some trade offs for the lower price. So there you have it. These are my personal ratings for all of the most popular best 3D printer of 2024. Links to all of these best 3D printer will be in the description below. Do you agree with me on these rankings or not? Leave a comment down below and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.